losing a hundred thousand, that that was that was painful. I think uh, for me, the one time that I felt the most out of my depth was uh, just right after I started my business, uh, SARS hit. That was very, very scary because um, no one knows what's going on. And the second store that we just opened was actually at United Square, which is actually where Tan Tok Seng Hospital is the dedicated hospital um, that handles all the SARS patients. Enrichment centres were all closed, schools were all closed, taxi drivers were avoiding that place. You, you can't even take a cab to United Square at that time. What was also then scary was when um, Pasir Panjang uh, Wholesale Centre, that's where actually my supply for the vegetables comes from. Overnight, they were closed down because they had SARS case there. There wasn't even time for the suppliers to call us to say that, look, you know, we cannot send you any more vegetables for the time being. No one knows what's going on. Basically, the vegetables just didn't arrive. It was very scary um, for me as a new business owner. We just started the Soup Spoon um, six months ago. You scramble because you, you still have a business to operate. Yeah, I think I was working probably like, you know, from morning to, to night, you know, cooking in the kitchen and then going to the store to serve lunch. And then there's also the fear of the, for the business because this could ultimately close us down because as small businesses, cash flow is of the most major importance. You know, um, we still had to continue paying our rent, um, salaries um, and, and everything, right? But one thing I realised was that actually um, there were a lot of customers buying takeaways. Because soups were healthy, soups were something that they, they could take away and they heat it up at, um, you know, like just eat it at home. And then that was when we also realised that, hey, you know, maybe there's an opportunity for us, you know, to pack the soups in a much more better format. Is there a new product line that we can create out of this situation? And that was so-called um, how we started our take-home soup packs. So, SARS eventually ended. The soup spoon survived, but we lost the United Square outlet. We actually lost $100,000. It was really painful considering that we actually invested $250,000 at the start of the business. So losing $100,000 after just a year and a half into the business, uh, that, that, was, that was painful. In times of crisis, you know, I, I think humans are unbelievable, you know, like uh, how we can think of uh, things, new things and, and, and innovate on it. And, Considering that, you know, the take home soup pack was budget, you know, out of the crisis. Today, you know, it accounts actually about 20% of our, our sales and we're actually exporting it to Taiwan and to Hong Kong as well. Everything that we go through, um, you know, no matter how bad it is, usually if you think on a positive light and everything, something good will come out of it.